artist since before the world went green. Heidi's been trimming trash and decorating discards forever. Perhaps you know her as Eco Heidi. Today she's sharing a technique that is one of my favorites. I'm delighted to welcome Heidi Borchers. Hey everybody. You know, my technique today of embossing with glue really isn't very eco. It's just a fabulous technique that we've been using for years and years. So I wanted to share it with you today because I know with all of you out there doing like scrapbooking and altered art and mixed media, it's something that you can use in your any of your art. And I forgot to send Tiffany pictures, so you're going to have to bear with me today that it's going to be on my camera. But I'm going to show you the finished, some of the finished ones right now. Just to kind of give you an idea, this is what I'm going to show you today. It looks like it's embossed, but it's just glue. Okay, so that's the first one. And then let's get started, and I'll show you how to do the actual technique. So let me get my table ready here. Get down here. The first thing you need to do is you need to put another tip onto your glue and it's not like it's expensive it's just out of tape just any kind of scotch tape and it's about two or three inches we want a fine line to come out of the glue and you can't get it if you just use this tip so when you get your glue you're going to cut it off like you normally do and then hopefully you can see this see the tape and you're going to put it on at an angle and just kind of twist it and I'll see it and I have to adjust it sometimes too. Just kind of twist it. See if you can see. And can you see how that's oops, see how I've made a tip. I like this tip because it's I don't have to clean it, it's disposable. <clears throat> it works really great. And we'll see if I can start squeezing. See, here's the glue starting to come out. Okay. Now, let's make sure that... Now, first of all, you draw on a piece of cardboard or whatever you're doing. Just draw in pencil whatever you, your design is. I have a heart here with some flowers. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start squeezing and just keep following your pattern. Again, you don't have to be perfect on your pattern because we're going to paint it later anyway. So I'm just squeezing out and then putting here. And then like on this one, what I did on my, um, I didn't go straight on my outside line. I just kind of did a little swervy line. You don't have to be perfect. It's just kind of giving it an outline. Here's a leaf. So that kind of shows you how to apply the glue. Oops, got one little place here. Now, you, when you get it all done, you set it aside and you let it dry until it's absolutely clear. And that's what I have here. This one I did yesterday and it's all clear. You can still see my, my outline, but everything is clear. Okay, then I paint it. And you can start to see where it's looking like it's embossed. Now, I used Rust-Oleum, the flat Rust-Oleum, to, to paint. I like the way it feels. Um, I like to, when I put chalk on it, it, it gives it a really nice texture. Now, <clears throat> I know being eco-friendly, it's, it's not a great thing. There are many things out there now that are starting to be more eco-friendly. Um, this one paint, eco-friendly, uh, by eco-friendly crafts. Whoops. If you're going to use a paint like this, you would use a, a sponge, like a um, facial sponge, one of those little triangle sponges, and you would dab on several coats. Okay, now we're going to get started on to paint it. Now, there's lots of different ways. The one that I showed you, this one here, is with chalk. It's with a pastel chalk that you normally use, like in scrapbooking, and it's, it's like this. It comes in little containers like this. Now, my container is not quite as neat. It's been all over, all over the world, so it's kind of chunky, but that's okay. And you can also use the square pastels, 
like this. They work fine too. They have lots of different colors. Now for your brush, I use like a stencil brush, one that's really hard. And sometimes I even trim it so it's not quite so long. Can you see those? And what I do is I put my brush into my color, kind of rub it on, And then, if I can get, I just rub the color into the flower or wherever, whatever part I wanted. Refill my brush. And then I blow on it to get it off. And then you go with your, now, Another thing you want to do in between each one is you want to clean your brush a little bit. So take a paper towel and clean it. Go into another color. Now, if you have like the edges that you want to color, then go back with the color, maybe a darker color, and go over your edges so you get your color on them. And again, Blow off your extra dust. And then for like the background, let's see what color you want to put. Let's put like a lime green. You just go on the background and just color it in. It's that simple. Now, so you can tell where I didn't clean my brush good enough. Or you can have a different brush for every, for every color you use, too, if you want. And just keep going in. Now, if I want to add a color over a color, you can do that, too. And let's put a little bit of highlights down here. See how that... And let's say I want a little bit more of a color behind my flower to give it a little bit more dimension. I can also take and put color around. So basically, that's how to use the chalk on the um, on the embossing with glue. Now let's take a look again. So now it kind of makes sense to you. Here's some flowers, and see how I've gone around the outside of them to kind of give them a little bit more dimension. Some little flowers. And it's just that fine line of glue. Now I have another one here. Not enough room on the table. Here's a frame. This is a wood frame. Let's see if we can go up closer here. See all the dimension there? It looks like it's been embossed. a really long one so it's going to come true. <laughs> See how it's it's got all the little dots. This is all chalk and I'm going to show you in a minute what else you can do. This is all chalk. See, you can do all kinds of patterns. It'll work on wood, it'll work on cardboard as long as you do the same technique. As long as you put the glue on first, let it dry, and then um, paint it. Okay, now here's if you use um, paint. This is collage, and you can see I've done the same thing like with her hair. She's got um, she's got the glue embossing. Let's this up a little bit. All of the details on her, it's kind of hard to see with this camera, but all of the details on her are all with the glue embossed. And then what I did was I painted the whole thing black on this one, and then went back and used my acrylic paint. There we go. Let's see if I have anything else here in embossing glue. Now, also, you can do jewelry with this, too. <laughs> That's cute, Juliana. <laughs> see if we can get the 
eyeball here. See, there you can see it. See how it's dimensional? Same thing. So basically, after you do your, um, your embossing, you can certainly put any kind of um, paints on it.